Hiya guys, it's Friday night. Just getting ready to go to the pudding club with my mum, sister, daughter. Um, decided on this outfit, which is, I'll show you in a minute, it's a dress from m and bought it last year in the sale, I've never worn it. Um, so I'm just going to touch my makeup up. I did a bit this afternoon when I went out, but I'm just going to touch it up a little bit. Don't need much on, to be honest with you. It's, it's in a barn and it's out. it's kind of outside, but not outside. It's not cold. It was quite warm last time. But, um, yeah, I was quite pleased it was warm last year. And I'm sure it was February that we went last year. Because I found the um, the menu. Because I kept it because I was going to put it in my scrapbook. I thought, oh, I'll keep that. Because I like to keep all the memorable things, like theatre tickets. Um, anything that the kids have made or given me or anything like that. I keep them all and put them in, like, <laughs> scrapbooks and stuff are so I do love a good uh, handmade thing off the kids so yeah um, I wasn't sure about this dress because it's not really a winter one but I've put a long sleeve bodysuit underneath it because I thought I'm gonna, I don't want to be cold I'm still getting I've still got a cold so I don't want to be sat there freezing or anything can you hear the boys next door? The next door are playing on the Xbox and they don't have to get a bit raucous. I'm roasting. I'm sat next to the radiator and it's like it's making me like cabri. <laughs> I'm just going to put this bit of this creamy blush on. I do love blush. Can't beat it, can you? <coughs> just makes you look more kind of like you're not ill. <laughs> If you've got a bit of colour in your cheeks, I think I might have just gone overboard with that. But, hey ho, it's fine. I need to look like I've got eyebrows now. <laughs> I hope you can hear that. <laughs> oh dear, Andrew's shouting Carl. <laughs> he just went, Carl, your daughter's done a poo poo. <laughs> Andrew doesn't like doing nappies. <laughs> oh, poor Carl. He thought he'd head upstairs. Oh dear. Just missed my browsers all together there. I need to dye them actually. I keep saying this. I've not dyed them for ages. That's why they look like I haven't got any. So I did mean to start a little vlog this morning and I didn't get round to it because I did my yoga then I videoed a yoga video from my yoga channel but at the end of this point I went shopping with Katie I went in a charity shop and I bought a shirt it was a Hollister and it was like blue, pink bit of other colour in it and she said something really horrible about it and I'm not going to repeat it on here because it was just naughty and I thought You've put me off the shirt now. I've just bought it and I'm never going to wear it because of what you just said. It was a checkered kind of shirt. You might guess what she thought I looked like. But I'm not going to say it because, you know what, I'm nice like that. She's horrible, my daughter. She tells me she's just dead blunt. She just don't care what she says. don't care if she's going to upset me. not like me in the slightest. Trusty old lip balm. Can't be without this. My lips are dead dry with the central eating and with having a cold. And this one is the nicest one I've ever had. I don't know why. Must just be what they've put in it. I showed you this last week but I'm going to show you again because I love it. I might go over it with a bit of Laura Geller. <coughs> I don't buy makeup very often. I just tend to use what I've got because I don't put makeup on all the time. I just think it's a bit of a waste of money because then it goes off. I need to comb my hair. So I will show you the outfit. I'll try and stand up here and show you. This is the dress I got from M&S. Hold on. It was a last year's one. I don't know if it looks weird with this top underneath it. And I've got my brown boots on. You can see them. So it's quite a long one. And yeah, I've just put the bodysuit on so it's got like a bit of blue showing underneath it. 
What do you reckon? I don't know. I don't know if it looks all right with these sleeves or not. I always have a panic when I'm going out as to whether I'm going to look all right or look stupid. I wondered if I had any perfume on there then. <coughs> so that is me. I'm going to... Um, I might use this bag because I think it goes all right. This was a charity shop one. I've not used it yet. But it's a bit like old school kind of satchel it reminds me of. It's a genuine leather one. And it's from Circo. I don't know, but I've never used it. Look at that. It's got like a <laughs> like a school bag in the front. So I might put that on because it goes with the tanned boots and the belt. Anyway, I've got to go and put some petrol in the car. Pick up my mum, pick up my sister because Andrew's driving us all. And my dad's bringing us all back, which is really nice of it. It's not going to be late though. We're not coming back late. So I'll try and take a few pictures of them, the puddings. I think they'll have a soup and... What else did they have last time? It was like, um, like a mushroom and stilton tart. So it might be something like that. But I'll, uh, I won't video in there because my sister's like weird. She don't like being on a video. So yeah, I'll show you the pictures and other stuff if I can. I thought I'd just show my outfit in the mirror. It's, um, I don't know if you can see, I'm not very good at showing you like this. So it's like a long dress. I do like the colours in the dress. I don't know if you can see that. It's like blue. I found this this uh, bracelet in the charity shop a few months back. Um, yeah, and I love the boots. The boots are charity shop as well. And yeah, I need to comb my hair. <laughs> I've just found a perfume that um, Katie bought me for Christmas. She got me this one. And it's Olivia Blake. Blue agave and lotus. It's really nice. So I'm going to wear that. And that is me. So we're off out. I do like a bit of colour at the moment. I've realised trying lots of different things on um, that anything that's too dark doesn't really suit me. So yeah. That is my outfit, and I'm hoping we have a good time. Might even have a few drinks tonight. I'll see you in a bit. Good morning, guys. Hope you're all right. So we're on Saturday, Saturday morning, and I normally work Saturday mornings, but today I'm not because I went out last night, feeling a bit tired this morning. Did have a couple of drinks, which is not like me. Went to the pudding club um, with my mum, my sister, and my daughter. Um, so yeah, it's Saturday. I'm just going to do a few housey jobs this morning. I'm going to try and stick them tiles on the kitchen walls. Um, what's I going to do? I've, I've got little bits of jobs to do. So this is a bit of a random vlog. I'm going to share with you a bit of um, the garden centre we went to last weekend. Because I was going to put that in a, a video last week, but I was a bit, a bit ill last week, so I didn't bother. But the fish in there were amazing. They've got aquariums and I just love to watch the fish. So I took a bit of a video of the fish and a little bit of a look around the garden centre we went to last weekend. So it might be a bit of a random here and there video, but I'm just going to share with you a few bits that we did last week and this week. But I'm just going to make a cup of tea first because, you know what, that's how you start the day, isn't it? Just had a shower and... <coughs> I've just done my skincare, but I've not put makeup on because I'm just sat in the house this morning. Andrew's at work and he's finishing about 10. Um, yeah, it's a nice and quiet, quiet so far <laughs> until my granddaughter comes this afternoon. Um, just getting a few bits done and yeah, we'll just see how it goes.
Oh, look at him. He kind of looks like a full back. <laughs> He's got a smile. Kissy face. <laughs> That's why we call it the fish lips. <laughs> hey, let's see this over there. Oh, look at him. Turn your head a minute. Come on. You got to want it turned round a minute.
and I just thought I'd share a few bits of things I bought in the charity shops recently. Um, but I always go in the charity shops whenever I'm passing any. I always like think, oh, I'll just have a little browse, see what's in there. So I'll just share with you what I actually what I actually found. <laughs> First thing was this, and it is this could have been vintage actually because it's not got a tag from the charity shop. I just piled them all into the same bag, but it's a fat face bag. It's like a cloth one brown and like a teal colour which I like. I thought it'd be just nice when I'm nipping the shops or something. It's got the fat face little embroidery thing inside. It looks brand new, it's not dirty or anything. And I just thought that would be quite nice with jeans and stuff like that. I'll just tip you down a bit. Yeah so I could just wear that like that. I think that was about eight pound but it is a fat face one. I also saw this which is a nice scarf from Accessorize. Looks like it's brand new, it's never been worn. It's got the Accessorize tags on it. Nice kind of fluffy material. This was from the charity shop. It was £3.99. And I thought, oh yeah, I do like that. Because we'd like to lots of different colours of coats that I've got. I also saw this nice summery kind of scarf. This is the next one. It looks quite new. It's got a bit of gold sparkle in there. I don't know if you can see them bits on, on it. Yeah, and I just thought, oh yeah, that's a nice little summery scarf, isn't it? I'll wear that in summer whenever I'm going out and about. Do you like the little gold flecks in that? I like the colours as well. It's quite a springy colour. Where's the tag? There it is. It was an age UK, 4 99 that one. Um, oh, I also found this, and it is, how do you say that? Is it Berska? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but it's a large Berska jacket, and it's like a cream one. I don't know whether to put this on my vintage, because I don't know. It's like a suede kind of, and it's a large, but it's really small, because I've tried it on. It was 5 95 in the charity shop. I'll just try it on. It's tiny on when I put it on. Unless it's just me thinking it needs to be a bit bigger. But, but I do like it for spring and summer, you know. So I don't know. Can't decide. I've got that many things from the charity shops recently. It's got the little buckle thing. And it does fit alright, actually. It's just meant to be a short jacket. I never wear short jackets, though, to be honest. I always wear bum covers. <laughs> apart from my denim jacket so yeah that is that one but I don't think it's me so I might put that on my um, vintage page because <clears throat> it's not something I'm going to wear very often <laughs> I just bought this new mirror from um, the range this morning makes me feel like I'm fat around here with it finishing there just on the belly line <laughs> yeah but I do like it it's nice and um, looks like it's not been worn very much to be honest with you and yeah i'm not going to keep it for myself i don't think it's me but i did think it was me in the shop but now i don't <laughs> let me see if it's a wash one can you wash this thing oh yeah you can actually wash on 30 degrees which is a bit surprising because you can't wash some things so yeah that one's gonna go to be sold on i also bought this bag you might have seen this before <coughs> This is a black John Rosher handbag. I like this one. This is something I wear for work. It's got um John Rosher thing there. This was £8.50 from British Heart Foundation. And that is something I will wear for work because a lot of my work clothes are dark or black. Do you like the John Rusher bag? It's got a bit of gold. Is it gold or silver? I can't really tell. I think it's gold. And the lining inside is really nice. It's not dirty or anything. Little pocket. So I'm super chuffed with it. But now I have got a couple of items that I bought from, you know, they're not second hand or anything. They're brand new. One of them is a dress from White Company. I bought it on QVC. Um, it was £55. I've tried it on. I like it. I'm not sure whether to keep it. Another one is a jumpsuit that's a summer outfit. It's got splits all the way up both legs, which is a bit... I'll show you both items and then I'll try them on and then tell me what you think. 
But be honest, I don't want to keep them if they're rubbish. <laughs> so the first one is the dress from QVC. I like it. I tried it on. My daughter said, oh yeah, it's quite nice that month. Um, but it's not worth £55. Fair enough. But I think it is because, <laughs> you know, this is the dress. Let me just tilt it down. I like the colour. But I, to be quite honest with you, the colour's not what I expected. I expected it to be more pink than like an autumn orangey pink. Can you see the colours? Is it picking it up? It's white stuff. I got a size 8 and it was 55 quid. <clears throat> Looks quite nice on it. Fits alright. It's got pockets at the front. So I'll try it on. Tell me what you think. I do like the white stuff because I just think they're a bit the quality, aren't they? They're not just rubbish. <clears throat> so that is that. And the jumpsuit. <coughs> It's from a company I buy from a bit, quite a bit. I like their things. Some of them don't fit me quite well because a lot of them are one sized. But some of the items they sell are in sizes. Like this was a size 8. And I just love the print of it. It's like, it is a summer outfit. But I don't know if I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. It's a jumpsuit that's got splits up the legs, which are not dead revealing because you can't really see them. But that is that. And I'll show you them both tried on. Just so I can get an idea of whether they look nice. Let me know what you think. And then if or not, I can send them back. I don't need to keep them. But I, do, I am loving all my outfits at the moment. So, yeah, that's... This morning we've been to the range, I've got a few crafty bits, I'm going to do a crafty video. Um, and I've got this mirror because I've got the mirrors in the wardrobe but you can't really see everything that you're looking at because you're still too close to it as well. So this is the white stuff dress, I like it, I like the fit of it, I like the fact it's got pockets. Even though they are like in an odd place. <laughs> I quite like it though, I'm not going to pretend I don't, I love having pockets. Um, I've not got any shoes on at the minute because I've just been work. <clears throat> but I like it, it comes in here and then it just hides the bit of a belly, you know when you're having a bit of a belly day. And I like the fact it's not too low down, can you see the print? I actually thought it was more pink, but I like the fit of the dress. So let me know what you think. I'd probably wear it with some wedges or something like that. Not sure to be honest, but yeah, that is the dress. I don't usually wear sleeves that are this length either. Um, I think I prefer them either up or <laughs> down. <laughs> um, yeah, but let me know what you think. That's the white stuff one. And I'll show you the other the, uh, splitted leg romper suit thing. This is the romper suit, what do you call it? Jumpsuit. Romper suit, who do not think I am? Child. <laughs> so I do like the print on it. I'd obviously wear a different bra with this, because obviously it's one of these halter neck ones. Ties at the middle, which is a real tie, you can undo it. Um, it's got, what's good about it is you can't see the split. It does split down both sides, but when you're walking, it doesn't do it. Well, it obviously does do it, but you know, it's not dead obvious what you like. Your legs are all out. I think I just like the print of it more than anything else. But yeah, the splits, they're actually right up the sides, but for some odd reason they don't come open, which is really good. I just like the print of it when I saw it on the uh, Instagram post from Bose Boutiques. I think it's about £30. Yeah, but what do you think? Is this a good buy or should I send it back? I mean, I'm not even going abroad this year. <laughs> don't think so anyway, unless somebody wants to take me somewhere nice. Hiya guys, hope you're alright. It's Tuesday now, I've just finished work and I'm just sat in the car park, I'm just deciding it's Valentine's Day tomorrow and I know Andrew's ordered me something because I saw it arrive yesterday. I've got a feeling I know what it is as well. <laughs> it's not your typical Valentine's gift but hey, he knows what I like I suppose. Um, so I'm trying to think, we wasn't going to buy each other much so now I feel like I've got to go and buy something. I've got to go to the card shop for a start because I've not even got a card. Um, 
So I'm going to the card shop. I'm also going to go and find him a present. But I don't know whether to go to next. See what they've got him. Could get Smelly's t-shirt. Um, he did mention he wanted some joggers just to sit around the house in. Because he doesn't have any more. He did have some, but I think he threw them in the bin. I think he got bleach on them or something. Um, so could be joggers, could be t-shirt, could be undies, could be smellies. He did mention one of them massage guns that, you know, you it kind of thumps you. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I'm going to go home and have my dinner because I've not had my dinner yet. And then I'll decide. Katie will probably come with me because she's not at work. We'll probably go to either Marks and Spencer's next... Sports Direct, I don't know, but yeah. And look at that, look at the grey coming out of my hair. I don't know whether to just leave it, you know, and see what the grey colour's like. No, I don't know. <laughs> I've seen a few people do it and they just put like a toner on just to make the grey a nicer shade of grey, but it's the growing it out, isn't it? It's just them months that are going to take like, it take over a year to be honest, so I'll probably just keep dyeing it. I look a mess now. Anyway, I'm going to go home and have my dinner and I'll update you on what I've got in for Valentine's. I also need some bits for my pancakes. I'm going to do pancakes tonight. I need some sugar, some lemon juice and some Nutella because I've not got any of them. And yes, that's what I'm going to do now. I'll see you in a minute. So I'm home now. I've been to, we went to TK Maxx. Went to the card factory to get some cards. It's um, Darren's... Darren, Andrew's brother, Darren, it's his birthday next week. So I got him a birthday card and I got Andrew a Valentine's. So this one is Andrew's. That's cute. They didn't have any husband ones left, so I felt a bit, but you know, that one's nice enough. <coughs> and there is Darren's birthday card for next week. Talking of Darren, we've had some bad news today. He's been took into hospital and he's had a mini stroke. Um, he said he felt a bit odd through the night last night. Like, I don't know if he's having, like, flutterings and stuff. Tried to ignore it, went back to sleep. Went to work this morning, because him and Andrew worked together. Um, and he was looking a bit odd at work. And next minute, Andrew, he'd, he'd gone. The, the staff in the office had took him to the hospital. Um, they've kept him in, and they've said he's had a mini stroke. So, fingers crossed he's all right. So, Andrew's out of his mind worrying. <clears throat> we've heard from him he said he's all right and they're doing more tests on him but he's got to stay in tonight so it's never a dull moment is there so yeah that was one bad thing that's happened today anyway i went in tk maxx and i got andrew a present i got him these bamboo undies the super soft and he likes nice underpants and i thought these were nice because they've got the nice soft bamboo material and two pairs one striped and one is plain <laughs> and we've got a thing going where um every time i buy him something for his birthday or valentine's it's always blue and every time it's usually a t-shirt that's blue and he says why do you buy me blue every time i said well i must like it mustn't i so yeah he's gonna be a bit these are blue and stripey so but the t-shirt that i found him is not blue it's a bit of an off-white kind of color it looks white there, but in the shop it looks a little bit beige, beige white. It's by a company called Clean Cut Copenhagen. It was £14.99. I've not heard of them, but I just liked it. It doesn't like big logos or anything. And um, it likes white because it goes with most things. So I just thought that was really nice. And it's got little turned up things on the uh, arms. <coughs> I got him a large because he usually gets large in t-shirts but while I was sat in work doing my typing just having a little chat to the girls next to me and I decided to go on next and order some of the rituals you know the the smelly sets so I just bought him one of the small men's ones I think it's the sport one I wasn't going to buy each other nothing and then he said to me the other day oh, I bought you something for um valentine's and then I saw this box that was the Amazon man obviously didn't knock, he just left it outside the front door. So I saw the present before before it's even Valentine's Day, and I know what it is. And it's a really nice thought, but it's a bit weird. He's bought me an electric blanket. <laughs> How old does he think I am? But it's a nice thought, because when I'm typing at home on a Thursday, I'm always moaning because I'm cold. The heating can be on, 
I'm still cold. So, yeah, I can see why he's bought it. But that is what he's got me because I saw the box. It wasn't in a cardboard box. You know, you usually have your thing and then you have like a cardboard box over it so you can't really see what it is. Didn't have that. It just showed you exactly what it was. <laughs> and then I said to him, oh, who's ordered an electric blanket? And he said, well, you've seen your Valentine's present already now. So that ruined the surprise. We're just about to go out with the dog. And there's this electric blanket on the porch. Yeah? Yeah, I'm coming now. So I'm going to wrap these up. It's just nipped to Carl's to take him home for some bits. Carl's staying here tonight. He don't feel well. I'm going to end the vlog, actually, though, because this is a dead random one. There's lots of different bits of, like, my week this week, and none of them are dead exciting. So... It's been a really random one, so I apologise for that. And lots of different things that don't go together. So, sorry about that. I'll get better at this, but yes, it's been an odd video, but hope you've enjoyed.